Right now, hundreds of folks all across the city of Phoenix are experiencing homelessness heading into the Christmas holiday. Tonight, we continue our series, Cost of Crisis in the Zone, Phoenix's largest homeless encampment. The city took a big step last week to help out the folks there with a deep cleaning on Madison Street between 12th and 13th Avenues. Team 12's Erica Stapleton went back to check out the impact it had one week later. Compared to last week, it still looks cleaner here than it was before that deep cleaning. You can even see some of the sidewalk and some of the plots where people were staying and went into shelter space. But out here today, people still need help. It's as simple as a tree. It's a hustle. For Christina Clemens to add some flair to a bleak situation. <laughs> and look at all this good stuff we got. This face got out of the trash can on the side of the road. She said she stayed at this spot on 12th Ave in Madison with her boyfriend the past few months in the heart of the zone. Phoenix's largest homeless encampment. But I like it out here, so I don't know if I'll ever leave <laughs> um, unless they kick us out. Believe it or not, it was actually bleaker before. Last Friday, the city of Phoenix did an enhanced cleaning trial on this block, the first of its kind where the city helped people move tents and belongings before coming in and cleaning and clearing any trash left behind after people could move back. It's been maintained pretty clean. And a week later, the sidewalks are still pretty clear and the ground less littered compared to nearby blocks that weren't cleaned the same way. Although trash is starting to build up again. It's a start, but we can really do better. Misha Scott out trying to make the bleak better, handing out more than 150 blankets ahead of the holidays, seeing that the need on these streets goes beyond cleaning. What can we do differently so this won't be somebody else's uh, reality. During the deep cleaning process, the city said it placed more than 30 people on the block into shelter space, but not everyone was willing to break away from the bleakness. I think if they want shelter space, that that's an awesome opportunity for them. I self-medicate and it's a lot easier for me to be on the streets than to be in regular society. The city says it's planning to do more of these so-called enhanced cleanings, but hasn't set a date yet. We're in Phoenix, Erica Stapleton, 12 News. Erica, thanks so much.